So now we're going to open this up to questions. We're going to do that in just a minute, but we did get a lot of questions about enrollment. So I want to make a few quick points about that. Uh, we're going to cover off very quickly what is the enrollment period. Uh, then we're going to talk about the process of signing up for an insurance plan. There's a process to this that you need to be aware of. And then we're going to talk about where and when you can get help. There's a lot of resources out there you can take advantage of. Uh, so get the help if you need it. So first of all, an enrollment. If you apply for new coverage or want to change your coverage, the open enrollment period starts this Saturday, November 15th. The enrollment period ends February 15th of next year, so 2015. You should also be aware that uh, there are deadlines related to when your insurance can start. So if you want your new plan to start January 1st, you have to apply before de December 15th to be guaranteed of that. If you want your coverage to start February 1st, you apply between December 16th and January 15th of next year. Uh, if you want your coverage to start March 1st of 2015, you apply after the January 15th deadline and before the enrollment period ends on February 15th. So outside of the enrollment period, you have to wait until you have a qualifying life event to get coverage. Um, so an example of a qualifying life event would be something like moving to a new area, or the example I used of my friend losing your employer-based coverage for your family. Um, they can sign up. If you have a baby, you get married or divorced, those are all qualifying events. And if you have one of those events, you have 60 days to enroll in a new plan. If you miss that window, you're likely waiting until the next open enrollment period. Um, so important things to know about enrollment. Let's talk about process. So Carrie, it's not just about completing the application, right? Once you pick a plan and you're ready to apply, tell us what happens. Yeah, the important thing to know is that no matter where you shop, you won't have coverage until you make your first payment. So I want to say that again because it sounds simple, but it's really not. Once you submit your application to the insurance company, you have to make your first payment before you have health insurance. So once you pay, you can take anywhere from a few days to a few weeks for you to get your insurance cards and everything in the mail. If you buy at eHealth without a subsidy, we can take your payment right away online. And in most cases, I don't think the exchanges are set up to take payments online. I'm not sure you'll have to check. Um, and if you buy with a subsidy, things get a little more complicated. So even with a subsidy, uh, you usually have to pay your monthly pre premium for coverage. So you have to pay a portion of that cost to the exchange, and then the, the exchange, or you, you pay a portion of that cost, and the exchange pays a portion of that cost to the insurance company. So if you buy with a subsidy, you can take a few days for your application to get to the insurance company. Once you apply for that plan uh, with a subsidy, you may just want to wait maybe two to three days to contact the insurance company to make sure they have your application before you call to set up to make those payments. And I know uh, at eHealth we've actually made it possible to submit your payment online, even if you get a subsidy with some insurance companies, but not all of them, right? So not everybody's set up that way. Yeah, yeah that's correct. And we should just point out that the process wasn't always smooth last year is that maybe a little bit of an understatement yeah last year a lot of people waited until the last minute so the insurance companies were flooded with applications and when people tried to set up their payments there were problems so if you can avoid waiting until the last minute to sign up you're more likely to get approved in a timely manner and you may have less waiting periods and times um, if you need to call to make a payment over the phone